Welcome to our lecture online, and here is another example of how we find images across refracting surfaces. So here we have air, here we have glass, index of refraction of air is 1, index of refraction of glass <coughs> excuse me, is 1.5. The surface of the glass has a curvature, and the radius of curvature is 5 centimeters, and the object is placed 20 centimeters in front of the surface. The question now is, with an observer on this side of the boundary, where does the image appear across this boundary? So we use the equation that we always use for refracting surfaces, which is up there. So let's write that one down. Whoop, almost knocked down the eagle again. Whoop, I think I just knocked down the eagle. Well, we'll put it back up in just a moment. So we have N1 over S is equal to, oh, not equal to, plus plus n2 over s prime is equal to n2 minus n1 over r. Now, plug in the numbers that we have. n1 is the index of refraction on the side of the object. So there's 1 over 20 centimeters plus n2, which is 1.5, over s prime is what we're looking for, equals n2, which is 1.5, minus n1, which is 1, divided by r. Now, r is 5 centimeters, but is it a plus or a minus 5 centimeters? Well, if it's bulging away from the observer, we call that a plus radius of curvature, so that would be a positive 5 centimeters. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and solve this for s. So first, let's simplify this a little bit. So we have 1 over 20 uh, plus 1.5 over s prime is equal to 0 0.5 over 5. Now, the next thing we can do is move this over to the other, to the other side right there. So we have 1.5 over s prime is equal to 0 0.5 over 5 minus 1 over 20, because when you cross the equal sign, of course, that becomes negative. Now, when we want to add the right side, we have to find the same common denominator, which is 20. So let's do that. So we have 1.5 over s prime is equal to, multiplying both the top and the bottom by 4, we get 2 over 20 minus 1 over 20. And then we can combine the right side, so that becomes 1.5 over s prime is equal to 1 over 20. And then flipping the equation over, we get s prime, yep, s prime over 1.5 equals 20. And then multiplying, cross multiplying, we get s prime is equal to 30 centimeters. All right, what does that tell us? Well, we know that it's 30 centimeters away from the boundary, but it's on the left or the right side. Well, since it's a boundary from air to glass, if it's a positive quantity here, positive s prime, a positive image distance, that means it's on the other side of the boundary. So if this is 20 centimeters and this is 30 centimeters, so it's somewhere around there. Now, is it upright or inverted? Is, and what is the size? That we don't know yet. So now, now let's use our equation for the magnification to find out what the image will look like. So the magnification is equal to minus N1S prime over N2 times S. N1 is 1, so that becomes minus 1 times S prime, which was a positive 30, divided by N2, which is 1.5, multiplied times S, which was a positive 20. Okay, so this is equal to minus 30 divided by, hmm, that looks like a positive 30, which is a minus 1. Okay, that means that the image is inverted, and it's the same size as the object. So we have an image that looks like this. There we go. And it's the same size as the object, and it's 30 centimeters behind the boundary. And that's how we find that. Okay. So you can see with refracting surfaces, there's all kinds of different things that can happen, and we'll show you some more examples until you feel comfortable with refracting surfaces.